Welcome to Ron Stark The Voice, your weekly adventure into the who, what, where, and why of our Southern California communities. And in our little coffee house today, we are joined by Sheriff John McMahon, who is the Sheriff of San Bernardino County. And we're going to be talking about the impact that realignment has had on the region. What is realignment, you may ask? It's those prisoners that were being sent to state prisons that are now staying in the local county prisons and how that is forcing early release and impacting our communities. We're also going to be talking about a wonderful program to help the homeless as well as programs for inmates while they are incarcerated. It's going to be a wonderful conversation, one you will not want to miss. Be sure to check out our website at ronstarkthevoice.com for an archive of many of our past shows. But don't go away, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jennifer Ulan. I do all the hair and makeup for Ron Stark and his guests. I would like to make you look and feel like a star all of the time. Come and meet me at Biatchi Salon and Spa in Upland and mention this show and receive a free beauty analysis and consultation. I offer the best in makeup, formal styles for weddings, proms, and for all of your special occasions, including airbrush makeup, hairstyling, cutting, coloring, extensions, facials, and nails. So, if you want to look and feel like a star, come and see me at Biachi Salon and Spa in Upland. Give me a call today for your free consultation at 626-589-3475 or 909-920-4177. It is that time of the show when we say hello to today's guest, and we are joined by Terry Lee Harrison, who is a Southern California author, and we're going to be talking today about her second book, The Shameless Life, Recognize Your Shame and Overcome It. And Terry Lee, welcome to the show. Ron, thanks so much for having me. I'm thrilled to be here. And you know, I want to get a little information about you and your background, but I got to tell you, it seems to me all of us, I'd like, or probably most of us, have something that we feel shameful for in our past. I know I, I certainly do. You know, primarily the really bad things I said about you before I met you. I'm I feel terrible about. I'm just, I'm just teasing. <laughs> but seriously, I, shame is something that I would guess is pervasive to some degree in everyone's life. You know what? It is. And here's the trick, though: we don't talk about it. And oh, I shouldn't have said I felt bad about saying bad things about you. And you know what? You. That's guilt. That's not shame. <laughs> That's guilt. That's okay. guilt. All right. Good yes. answer. Good answer. Touche. Yes. So <laughs> ironically, we all have it. No one's talking about it. And the main thing is we're all dealing with it all the time. But when's the last time you called a friend or a colleague and said, how are you today? And they said, I feel so much shame. Mm -hmm. They don't say that. Right. They don't say it at all. And, and why, why is that, do you suppose? that, that mm -hmm. we're taught not to talk about things that we feel shameful mm -hmm. about. We are obsessed in our minds with what will people think of me. Mm -hmm. And the problem is we don't talk about it, so it perpetuates. So ironically, I want to write this book about my life, and it's my life of shame, but yet people don't pick it up unless they hear me and hear my story, because how many of you go to the bookstore and say, Oh, I have so much shame today. We don't, right? But do you know how it shows up in our lives, Ron? It's the, I'm not good enough. When I ask, have you ever felt not good enough? It's a resounding yes, that I'm not tall enough. I'm not smart enough. That's what people will recognize. So it's an ironic thing that I want to bring it to the forefront, but it's because of what I've gone through in my life. And, and it seems to me that there's probably people out there that are having you know, the, these shame-related issues and may not even be aware of what's driving these issues in their life. 
I believe that that is really true and that was one of the reasons why I decided to reveal who I really am to the world and expose what shame was because when I went to tell my story, Ron, this is great, I hired a book coach. I tell a book coach my amazing story. I'll never forget I was living in Lake Arrowhead. I'm sitting at the base of the mountain because you can't climb the mountain on the phone and I finished telling her this is my story and I'm waiting for her to get a reaction and she says, this is a book about shame and I went, it is? I couldn't believe it. And then I got angry, Ron. I'm up on the mountain and I'm starting to research for my book and I could not believe that when I found out what shame was that I had every single symptom. That I had brought it out in my life in ways that I would have never imagined. And I'm mad. I'm mad about the fact that shame is so prevalent and no one's talking about it. So I'm ready to start a worldwide conversation about shame so that people don't have to live with their baggage. I, I love it. In fact, let's let's turn the clock back a bit. Mm -hmm. This isn't your first book. No. Uh, but you, you, you claim it should have been, or this mm. is the book you were meant to write. Yes. Tell me what you mean by that. You know what, in 2006, I had done enough work on myself that I want to write something and so it was a book for mom business owners the business mom guidebook and I wanted to know I was an overwhelmed work at home mom how does everyone So that was a business for people that own moms uh, no no <laughs> but I was a work at home mom that's a great one that's Sorry. a great one no but I was a work at home mom and I couldn't my son was four I really couldn't figure out what it was I needed to do to make things happen so I went to other work at home moms, the who's who of that community at the time and said, how do you do it all and juggle it all? And I put mm -hmm. that in a book. But see, in doing that, I told their story. Right. I didn't tell Terry Lee's story. I wasn't ready to do that yet. But you know what? Sometimes even when we have baggage, we can still do great things. Oh, well, It people, just may not be what we're destined to, yeah, right? People do all the time. They, yeah. they may not do the greatest things they can yes. do. But once we discover who we are truly and authentically, then whole worlds open up. So, so before we dive into the book, which mm -hmm. I really want to do, mm -hmm. what was that transitional or pivotal moment for you? Mm, when I knew that I needed to tell it? Yeah. Mm. And, and you knew that it was an issue for you. Mm. I didn't know shame was an issue until the book coach told me. Okay? So I had come a long way. I had learned the truth about everything that was going on in my life and, and still several years later I hadn't figured out about the shame. Isn't that amazing? So this was just to you, just book number two about it was book Terry two. Lee's life. Yes, it was my story and I okay. thought that's all I was ever going to do was tell my story. But then I realized there's way more to it. But sometimes it's amazing in your purpose or your mm -hmm. calling or whatever you want to say that sometimes if it was all revealed to you in, in on a silver platter, we might not feel ready to take it. But over time, I was willing to accept this portion and this right. portion. How and do you so, eat an elephant? Yes. yes. So when the book coach said to you, well, this is a book about shame, mm -hmm. did that then shift the focus of your writing for the book? Yes, because I went into it and it started with what is shame. And that's when I learned what it was, how serious it had been in my life. I liken it to baggage now, which we'll talk about, and just the different baggage pieces that I picked up and how it affected my life. So yes, it was just gonna be my story. I really didn't know the intricate pieces of it until I found that out, and it's amazing when you So find it I'm out. sure that writing this was somewhat cathartic for you, but did you do any other activities while writing it to start dealing with the sense of shame that, that you're sharing in the book? You know, I had already known the truth about my situation, so we're gonna talk about how seeking the truth is a key to, to overcoming shame. So, truly the book was cathartic, and there was times when my book coach would say to me, they're gonna wanna know this, and I would go like this with my laptop, <laughs> you know, for six weeks. And I'd say, I never thought I'd have to talk about that, and eventually I'd pick it back up. So, so I believe we all have a story, I believe every story is important, and I believe every time we tell our story, it heals us. And so, yes, it was a process, and I believe every day when I tell it, even now, telling you for your listeners, I believe that it, it's cathartic and is healing. Absolutely, mm -hmm. you know, just talking about it. Well, here's what I'd like to do. We're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, I'd like to hear your story and the Sounds story good. of this book. We're talking about the shameless life Recognize Your Shame and Overcome It by Terry Lee Harrison. If you want to hear the nitty gritty mm -hmm. of this story, don't go away. 
We will be right back. Small business owner, are you frustrated and looking for a better way to track your finances? I can help you. I am the QuickBook Queen. I offer you peace of mind and prosperity with custom QuickBooks setup, training, and troubleshooting services by the hour at your location. We specialize in helping businesses find the quickest, easiest way to enter their data, providing accurate financial reports that guide owners to successfully grow their business. The Queen is launching her free online tutorials and webinars this summer to help more people across the country and around the world. See qbqueen.com and quickbooksfreetutorials.com. Call QB Queen Linda Russell at 1-877-553-4422 for your free 20-minute phone consultation. I'm here for you. Ron Stark The Voice is brought to you by KMET Radio, Smart Talk 1490, Intelligent Conversation and Information for the Inland Empire. Your home for Andrea Tanteros, weekday mornings, Lakers and Clippers basketball, Kings hockey, Angels baseball, and of course, Ron Stark The Voice. Heard every Friday at 3 p.m. and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Your home for intelligent conversation and information for the Inland Empire, KMET. Also check out KMET1490AM.com. You are watching or listening to Ron Stark, The Voice, coming to you from the beautiful KGEM studios in wonderful Old Town, Monrovia. And we have been talking with Terry Lee Harrison, a Southern California author, about her latest book, The Shameless Life, Recognize Your Shame and Overcome It. And Terry Lee, in the first segment, we learned a little bit about you and your background and how this was really going to just be a book about Terry Lee. Yes. And it was your book coach who said, this sounds like a book about shame. Yes. And in looking through this, I, I get the sense that this all kind of started in the sixth grade. It did. Tell us about that. Go back with me there for a minute, if we can, at our age. But sixth grade was kind of an awkward time, was it not? We were not little kids. We weren't grown up. And we were learning about things. And at my age, I learned about reproduction and puberty on a film strip. How about you? Um, well, that's what they did in school. Yeah, ours was the plastic slide. The plastic thing. ones. No, I got a film <laughs> strip. Okay, so, so, but I was just learning about those kind of things when I came to know that I also was never going to start my period on my own. That not only is it awkward, period, but Ron, here I was, and I barely understood these things, and I came to know at that time that I was born without a vagina. Now. I took what information that I had, and it was that I'd had another surgery when I was four. I had kidney surgery. Doctors had gone and looked around and did exploratory surgery and came out and told my parents, waiting on the news of their four-year-old daughter, your daughter looks like a museum inside. It appears she was a twin, but the egg didn't split. Mm. I took that news. I took this second piece of news that I barely understood, I had um, an operation for it, allowing me to be able to have my period. And then my parents, okay, awesome, loving people, doing the best they could at the time, they decided to make it a family secret because they wanted to protect me from all the other sixth graders like mm -hmm. you, Ron. Mm -hmm. And so I took all that and the misunderstanding and not being able to talk about it and I just stuffed it deep inside. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, I was different than all other girls. I was the only one that had happened to. And so it was at that time that I took on what I refer to as a, my first piece of baggage, a huge trunk that said, I'm not okay, I'm not good enough. And so I took on more baggage over the next couple years because what are you supposed to do when you're 12 and you can't talk about that? Mm -hmm. So the next bag I took on was I'm not perfect. What does that look like? Many people have the bag of I'm not perfect now, right? But or, 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 I, I no, have no. a bumper sticker. It says I'm not perfect, yeah. and I just said it wrong. <laughs> I wasn't perfect. It's the bag of I need to be perfect. There right. we go. So the bag of I need to be perfect. And at 14, that looks like I'm going to get all, all 
um, A's. I'm going to date the best boys. I don't want anyone to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. It led me to another bag. You ready for it? Hmm. And it was the bag that wreaked the most havoc on me. And that was the bag of I'm not lovable. Mm. And so as I'm entering my 20s, I was in relationships over the next 15 years with three different men. And during that time, I became the cheater. I was cheated on and I've been the other woman. Hmm. And so things just kept spiraling and I kept making bad choices. During that time, I also thought I wanted to have kids. Now, mind you, no one had ever told me, no one had ever said you'll never have kids. So I assumed it was possible. There came a day in my early 20s in one of those relationships when doctors went in and took a look as nothing was happening and mm -hmm. said, we can't help you. Your uterus isn't completely formed. You have ovaries. Um, you have no tube on one side. You, their tube on the other side isn't fully developed, but dye does go through it. Mm -hmm. So there did come a day when I did in one of those relationships. I um, was pregnant, found myself ready to have a baby, and I have a daughter that's 20 now wow. and so that was awesome that was awesome and I, I do want to share just in the spiral of making wrong choices the relationship when I um, was in the abusive relationship and the, the one where I was cheated on it wasn't your average little cheat I ended up being lured to California I came here to be with him and here he was still married to someone at the same time he was married to me. Wow. And all kinds of drama, movie of the week after movie of the week after movie of the week. So everything is just piling on and your self-esteem is getting lower worse and lower and worse lower all the, the time. Pile. I have all these bags, right? And that compiled mm -hmm. into I'm getting what I deserve, mm -hmm. right? I mean, just continue to pile and pile on. So, there's, so what was the breakthrough? That, what was there. the point where, where Terry Lee says, I have some issues that mm. I need to deal with. How am I going to deal with them? Mm. You know, the breakthrough, I'm sad to say, was my awesome mom was dying. She'd been diabetic since she was 13 years old. And when she passed away, even though I have all these bags and I'm feeling so bad about myself and I'm not mm -hmm. talking about it, and frankly, I hadn't even thought about that stuff in quite a while. But I just am like, what are you doing with your life? And so I began seeking out, making the right choices. I started speaking to God again because at some point I even messed that relationship up, right? The good news there is he, he generally is pretty open to, thank goodness to mending he's, relationships. Thank goodness he's waiting, right? <laughs> and so there came a day when I was able to, um, believe it or not, I had a son in the middle of some of that relation, in the middle of the second um, one relationship. And sounds like I have 50,000 relationships, there was three, okay? But, uh, but there came a day when I wanted to date again, believe it or not, after mm -hmm. all the crud I went through. Mm -hmm. So I thank God in eHarmony because 11 years ago now, I met my husband, Terry, um, and, and we were just in a, able to come on and have a good life and have a real life and begin to move things forward. So when I really found out what the truth was, was I was sitting with a business coach in 2006, and his name is Michael Price. That's a friend of and, mine. And Michael um, just was so, had so much clarity, and he was talking to me about different things in my life, and he said, tell me about your childhood. And I was sitting in a Starbucks with him in Laverne, California, and I kind of sucked my breath, and I went, oh, he thinks I was abused or something. And I said, Michael, I had a great childhood. I had a fantastic childhood. And I, I said, but I had a really great loving family, and I thought a minute, and I said, but I was sick a lot. And so talking to him that day got me thinking, do you know I went to my computer that night, Ron, something I've never done in the past. We didn't have the internet when I was 12, right? I have a condition that one in 5,000 women have. It's called MRKH syndrome, and it's women that are born with kidney abnormalities, underdeveloped reproductive tracts. Mm -hmm. They're born with scoliosis. I have that too. Some have hearing loss. And the kicker of the story of my life of not thinking I was good enough is in doing research, I'm one of the only ones I can find that has ever birthed, conceived, wow. birthed, and carried their own kids. I found out the truth. The truth is I am not junk. Mm -hmm. I was a miracle and I didn't know. So what's the message that you want people to take away from this? Because we're, we've got about two minutes left. My message is that, Ron, I think we can get stuck in our story. 
Mm -hmm. I think there's things that have happened to us, and I happen to believe that if we'll take the time and seek the truth, that we might find that life has been different. I believe that there are people who are scared to tackle their pain because they think it's too much for them. But sometimes when you seek the truth, imagine it was like a bomb went off in the foundation of my baggage. Mm -hmm. And there was less truth to, less baggage to go through in the mm -hmm. process. I want to talk to people about secrets too. There are good secrets and bad secrets. And the bad secrets we keep from the way we've been treated, from things that have happened like this, mm -hmm. um, they can only eat away at us and keep it from being the person we're meant to be. So people can have freedom and joy when they will examine their baggage and learn to be free to be who they are with everyone. That's terrific. Now, Terry Lee, if someone wants more information on your story mm -hmm. or to get a copy of this book, mm -hmm. how can they do that? I would love to invite them to my website. It's theshamelesslife.com. They'll find information from me there. They can purchase the book online. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for having the courage mm. to share your story, especially in a way that I know will touch other people's lives. Mm. Their shame issues will most likely be very different from yours. Absolutely. But there's still issues that can be dealt with and managed through. So thank yes. you for sharing Thank that. you for having me, Ron. My pleasure. Don't go away. We will be right back. Guns Home Interiors is a premier interior design company that can help to improve your indoor living space with a complete selection of quality home services. Their skilled building contractors can handle everything from window coverings to flooring and all other home remodeling and improvement solutions. They take pride in offering a comprehensive array of quality home solutions at a low price. By updating the appearance of your bathroom and kitchen, you can transform the look and feel of your home at a low price. Whether you want to completely change the look or simply need an update, they can provide the exact results you are looking for. From cabinets to wall coverings, they specialize in all types of interior design and decorating. Guns Home Interiors, the oldest shop in Covina, call today at 626-966-4131. Why wait? Call today or schedule your appointment online at their website at interiordesigncovina.com. Feel better, work better, live better in a clean environment with EnviroClean. EnviroClean is a locally owned and operated janitorial and supply company serving the Inland Empire for over 23 years. They carry a wide variety of environmentally safe and non-toxic chemical soaps and cleaning supplies along with paper products, mops and more. They offer commercial, industrial and residential cleaning services. Their cleaning crew is licensed and bonded and they are trustworthy, loyal and hardworking. They'll assign a dedicated crew and supervisor to ensure your complete satisfaction with every visit. We also offer carpet cleaning, window cleaning, pressure washing, floor care services, and construction and clean maintenance. I'm Michelle Pallas of Sales and Marketing for EnviroClean. Please give us a call, 909-947-6611. Ron Stark, your voice of the Inland Empire here, and I love EnviroClean. They clean for me twice a month and just made my carpets look like new. For a free quote, give them a call today at 909-947-6611 or visit their website at EnviroClean.com. Do you own or run a business? Have you ever considered barter or trade? This is Ron Stark, your voice of the Inland Empire, and I can tell you I did, and I'm so glad I did it. Barter may just be the key to your business success. I have been a member of ITEX, the largest barter organization in the nation for many years. And let me tell you about the ITEX advantage. First of all, your products and services will be introduced to new customers that are looking for a company exactly like yours. And you will be able to purchase products and services without using your hard-earned cash. To make things as simple and easy for you as possible, you will have access to your own trade directors and Inland Empire brokers, Nita and Peter Brooks, to help you navigate the exciting and magnificent world of barter. And barter is not just about business. You can mix in some pleasure, too. I have taken my kids on vacation to Big Bear in San Diego. We have enjoyed many wonderful restaurants and talk about gift giving. There is nothing better than the iTex marketplace. So how exactly does barter work? 
let's say you purchased a commercial spot from me in this show using your iTex funds. And then let's say I needed some car repairs. So I take my car to a local mechanic that accepts iTex and pay for the repairs using the iTex funds I received from you. Then the mechanic uses those same funds to take his family to dinner at a local restaurant or to pay for a plumber or a trip or, well, you get the picture. It's really that simple. Want to know more or have questions? Just give Nita or Peter a call at 909-592-7727 or email itex.inlandvalley at itex.net. That's I-T-E-X or call 909-592-7727. And who knows, maybe we will be seeing your commercial here on this show on Barter. busy, busy month at the Citizens Business Bank Arena with graduation ceremonies. So do all of the graduates from Rialto and Chino Unified School Districts, plus Upland High School and the University of Phoenix, congratulations. June 7th, El Dasa in concert. This young man has a wonderful voice and his fans will tell you he's going to be around a very long time. June 20th, Spirit West Coast Christian Music Festival featuring Mercy Me, 10th Avenue North, Cutlass, and many more. Even Colton Dixon for all of you American Idol fans. All of this rock music brings in thousands of people to have a great time. June 27th, Super Freestyle Explosion. How many of these great bands do you remember? Stevie B, Lisa Lisa, Expose, Debbie Deb, Pretty Poison, New Shoes, Trinier, Connie, Stacy Q. Can you believe it? All nine of these bands in one huge concert. You'll be dancing at your seat for this show. As always, you can visit the website for the Citizens Business Bank Arena at cbbankarena.com for information on these shows and everything that's coming up. Or call the box office at 909 244 Five six zero zero. I'll see you at the arena. What a wonderful show. I so enjoyed chatting with all of our guests, and I especially want to thank you for tuning in and joining us. And please remember to set your DVR so you never miss another episode of Ron Stark The Voice. We're now on in more places than ever before, and if you visit our website, ronstarkthevoice.com, you'll find the exact days and times our show can be seen and heard. And while you're there, drop us an email. We love to hear from you. Ideas, suggestions, comments. If you have a thought for a show guest, let us know. Our guests need to have topics of broad general interest and be non-commercial in nature. And if you prefer a more traditional way of contact, you can always give us a call at 909-746-8846. So, until next week, this is Ron Stark reminding you to be productive, care for your world and the people around you, work hard, find time for fun, and always remember to give back whatever and whenever you can. Until next time, goodbye for now.